Congratulations, you now work for the United States Postal Service, one of the oldest and best-loved companies in the U.S. Good luck on your first day in the job. The aim of the game is to collect the most points by delivering as much mail as you can before the transport cards run out. To play, you need two to four players and about 30 minutes to get your hinds around America. First, give each player a delivery slip. Now, choose a delivery truck and take a bicycle transport card of the same color. The color you pick represents your hometown. If you make a delivery from that location, you get bonus points. Place all the delivery trucks on the starting location. Now, take the deck of the transport cards. Separate them into their levels. Shuffle each level. Stack them so that level 3 cards are on the bottom, level 2 in the middle, and level 1 cards are on the top. Now, deal the top 3 cards face up, like this. Then, take the delivery cards and sort them into postcards and the four regions of general mail and place them here on the board. Place the top postcard here and move the postcard token to that location on the board. Turn over the four delivery cards and place the corresponding mailboxes on top of each one. Place a mail cube on each depot of the same color. Now you're ready to deliver the goods. On your turn, you can take three actions. First, you take some transport cards, which cost you one action for each card you take. If you have any actions left, you can spend them using your transport cards to travel around the board. Again, it costs you one action for each card you use. Discard any transport cards used and deal out more so there are always three on offer to the next player. Your bicycle card is the only transport card you never discard. It stays with you for the whole game. You must travel the exact number of spaces indicated on your transport card, but you cannot double back or retrace your path with that card. Also, you can't end your turn on a location that's occupied by another player. However, if you pass through a location that is occupied, you can assist them by taking one of their mail cubes if they have any. You now own that delivery and take the card from them. In order to pick up a mail cube, you must land on the depot and not pass through it. Now, take that delivery card from the board and place the same colored mailbox on the delivery destination. You can only carry a maximum of two mail cubes at one time. So, this truck is now full. To deliver the mail, you must land on the destination and not pass through it. Now, turn over that delivery card to the deliver side. You've just delivered some mail. On the delivery slip, stamp the letter or parcel symbol, then the region your delivery came from, and finally, check for any one-off bonuses. Now, place the delivery card on the board and return the mail cube to its home depot. Postcards don't need to be delivered. Just pick one up by landing on or passing over the postcard token. Now take the postcard from the board and stamp your icon on your delivery sheet. Draw a new postcard from the deck and place the token on their new location on the board. The game ends when the transport deck runs out. Once the final transport card has been turned over, every player, including the player who turned over the final transport card, gets one last turn. Now, add up all your points and bonuses, taking off three points for any undelivered mail in your truck. The player with the most points is the winner. And that's how you play the Great Mail Race. Before I go, don't forget to join the Potato Club for free replacement parts and a weekly game lotto. So long, mail carriers.